Hello, my name is Kelsey and welcome back to my channel. So I actually wasn't going to do an egg decorating video this year, but about a week ago I saw some gorgeous store-bought Easter eggs and I thought I could DIY that. Most Easter decorations are cutesy and colorful and pretty, but the eggs I saw were abstract and sophisticated. So if you don't have kids but still want to decorate for Easter, or if you prefer a more grown-up, modern and trendy theme, then this video is for you. Before we get into the how-to, I wanted to show you guys the end result. The eggs that inspired me look similar to these. A beautiful metallic wash of gold and silver with abstract splatters of black on them. I love how these turned out, but if I was going to do a video on trendy, sophisticated Easter eggs, I wanted to show you guys more than one design. So I did a little Google searching and Pinterest pinning and came up with two more methods to try. These Scandinavian styled eggs are made simply with a sharpie but I think the black and white design with the repeating patterns is very striking and effective. The third method that I attempted was spray paint. These did not turn out how I expected. I picked out a bright copper spray paint, but as you can see, these are more of a bronze color. However, the shine on these eggs is unbelievable. To me, the effect is similar to one of those amazing galaxy mirror glaze cakes. So even though they don't look like I initially envisioned, I still really like how they turned out. To start your craft, gather your supplies. I have floral foam to use as a base for my skewer so that the paint can air dry, spray paint in a metallic copper color, wooden skewers to stick through the holes of my eggs so that I can paint the eggs evenly, a black sharpie, acrylic paint in silver, black and gold, a palette for mixing paint, and my mug of paint brushes, including a toothbrush. I also have 18 blown out eggs. If you want to see a brief tutorial of how to blow these out yourself, then check out last year's marbled eggs video. I'll leave a link with the timestamps in the description box. I started with the spray paint method. I skewered six eggs and stuck them into the styrofoam. After shaking the spray paint for what seemed like forever, I started spraying the eggs. And then I stopped. These weren't copper. Had I picked up an old can or had the caps been mixed up? So I tested the paint on a sheet of paper and it looked like copper on the paper. So something about the texture of the eggs or the composition of the spray paint meant that it didn't look like copper on the eggs. But I had to finish what I started, so I completed the first coat and set them aside to dry, wondering if they'd turn copper once dried. They didn't. But they still had promise. This time I decided to spray each egg individually and I really went to town with the spray paint. It was cool to see how the paint reacted as it moved. This is the point where it started reminding me of a mirror glaze cake or an acrylic pour. I kept the skewer moving as the egg started to dry. My goal was to try and preserve some of the cool patterns I was seeing and stop the wet paint from dripping right off the egg. And it worked for the most part. Fair warning, I like how these turned out for me but the process is a messy one. The wet spray paint will run down the skewer and onto your fingers. You can use nail polish remover to clean this off. But if you want a less messy project, the Sharpie method is the one for you. There's not a lot to explain with this method. I used a regular sized black Sharpie, picked a pattern and started marking my eggs. I found it useful to complete these one section at a time because your fingers will smudge the Sharpie lines if the marker hasn't dried enough. I did two eggs with polka dots, two with X's and two with a crosshatch pattern. The key to getting this method to look really, really good is to be as slow and as steady and as neat as possible, which is hard, you know, working on a fragile, overformed surface. However, the good news is, even if you're a little messy and some of your lines are too close together or your polka dots are too far apart, the pattern does a good job of hiding the mistakes and the design still looks really striking, especially from a distance. The final design is my favorite by far. It just looks so polished and sophisticated and fancy. I started by squeezing out a dab each of both the gold and silver acrylic paint, then mixing in water to make a light runny wash. I didn't want the background paint to be thick and textured. I wanted the silver and the gold to marble together, and the watery paint achieved that look. I used the skewers to prevent fingertips in the paint. Once I finished painting on the wash, I stuck the skewers into the styrofoam so that the paint could air dry without getting messed up. Once the eggs were dry, I squeezed out another dab of gold, as well as some black paint. I used a toothbrush to splatter the eggs with the gold paint first and then the black. You have to experiment a little with the water content of your toothbrush splatters. If the paint is too thin and runny, the splatters won't stick and it will just run down the egg. But if the paint is too thick, you'll just get a really fine spray and none of the bigger, bolder splashes that I think are really cool and add a lot of interest to the design. You could of course do silver splatters as well, but I like the look of just the gold and the black. 
Even though the gold splatters don't stand out as much as the black, I really think they add to the overall look and detailing of the design. Let your eggs all dry completely before handling them and decorating with them. I think all three designs look great together and would look beautiful as a centerpiece on a dining room or coffee table. You could also use them as part of a place setting by breaking open more of the shell, putting them in an egg holder and adding a bit of baby's breath like I did here. If you prefer to go simpler and just do one design, they make a wonderful monochromatic statement. However you choose to style them up, these eggs are a beautiful, trendy alternative to decorate with this Easter season. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it. What did you think of the designs? Let me know in the comments below. Check out this delicious lemon cake that would be perfect for an Easter dessert, or watch this playlist to get you motivated to clean your home in time for your Easter guests. Don't forget to subscribe, and as always, thanks to everybody out there watching and supporting my channel, and cheers for now.